and we're live. Welcome to the 32nd sprint review of, for the Common Stack. Uh, very excited to have you here. It's another great week. Uh, we have uh, where the TEC is finally getting off of its feet and starting to pass proposals. It's really exciting. I'll let Tam explain all the conviction voting stuff. But there is one really cool proposal that uh, just to just dive right in. Uh, there's one really cool proposal that I, I'm really excited about because it really touches the collaborative economics. Uh, we have uh, our first vote to adjust the entry and exit tributes of the augmented bonding curve. So the TEC spent a lot of time and effort to make sure that the community understood the actual um, economic structure. So how does the bonding curve work? Uh, and it has tributes specifically of 22% when people buy TEC tokens to mint them and uh, an exit tribute when people sell TEC tokens, the 2% of the uh, money released from the bonding curve goes to the common pool. So the plan uh, in the original proposal, Goldilocks proposal, was to slowly flip those. And so this is the first vote to actually change those the, the, the uh, entry and exit tributes. And uh, it's, it looks like it'll, hopefully it'll, we'll see if it passes or not. It's up to you. You can go out and vote. So far it has 99% support, still gathering votes. Probably by the time you see this, we'll know the results. Uh, so we have over two days left. So that's exciting. Also, uh, we have the budgets. Uh, this th did the budgets this month with Frischel, major praise for Shell always. Uh, and we have uh, officially run out of money in the Common Stack Association. We are in debt, uh, $900. That's, that's only two dues, though. So we will, uh, the association has stopped making payments and, uh, and is just collecting funding. And we have a, a plan to totally revive the association, which is super cool with, with, um, with membership renewals and uh, adding more qualifying DAOs and adding uh, uh, an insurance a sort of insurance policy so we can fulfill our agreements, but all of that will be is still in the works uh, to be discussed later. Uh, the community still has lots of funding though, uh, and this this budget snapshot was done on February 1st when Ether's price was still around 2,500. Ether's gone up, so we have more money than this now. Uh, this is the first review call since since February 1st, so we're kind of far away at this point. But uh, we are still living off of some big airdrops that we got from the uh, Giveth and uh, Dapnode are still a lot of our main holdings. And then we have uh, uh, some big salary debt, which uh, will not be the case in future months, as we'll see. Uh, but we still have some good a good amount of money and we'll be able to make it uh, for uh, several more, several, like until the end of the year uh, at this rate, it looks like. Uh, with the community budget. And uh, the other big news that's happening, at least I'm giving three talks and hosting a couple panels uh, in, in ETH Denver. So if you're in Denver, uh, the Common Stack is going to have a huge presence. Uh, I'm giving a collaborative economics talk on the 15th at Dow Denver. They don't have their schedule up yet, but uh, I will definitely, you definitely don't want to miss it. It's going to be the, my most Common Stack -y talk. Uh, very excited to run through the ins and outs of how to do collaborative economics. And also I'm speaking at the showing point uh, because there was a conflict uh, with, with uh, our talks, Tam and Livia were speaking at the same time as me uh, on the calendar right now. It says that I'm speaking at 320, but I'm actually going to steal this 145 TBD slot. Manu and I are going to switch. So come check me out at 145. Don't listen to the calendar. Uh, it's not real. Uh, 145 is when I'll be speaking on the main stage at Shelling Point. It sh should be an amazing talk about how uh, microeconomies can create shelling points uh, to advance public goods. And also, I'll be speaking at ETH Denver. I have uh, I have a slot. Um, let me look at my notes here. Uh, I was I'm speaking on the main stage. I have an amazing slot actually for uh, for ETH Denver. I am speaking at 10, 11.20 on Friday at the Sports Castle on the main stage, uh, probably one of the most premier spots. I'm really, really excited about that. And also on Saturday, uh, there'll be a, I'm hosting a panel on the main stage about public goods. So uh, definitely don't want to miss that. I'll be talking about, uh, on, a, on, a, on Friday, I'll be talking about the biggest overlooked 
opportunity in Web3. And I'll tell you what that is. It's, it's public goods. So, so sorry for the lack of a spoiler alert, but it's the biggest opportunity out there. And I hope to explain why. Uh, and also uh, on the main stage, I'll be. it's a public goods are good panel with with uh, some Gitcoin people, some giveth people. It'll be a, it'll be a, it'll be a hoot. You don't want to miss it. Uh, and with that, I'll pass it to Tam to talk more about Denver. Thanks. So um, we are in uh, at the end of Sprint 32. And as always, uh, Ivy will share the name and inspiration of um, what uh, we have as our Sprint name. And I am going to stop your sharing and share mine. Cool. So uh, as Griff said, more about ETH Denver. <laughs> So by the time you watch this, we will be on the ground in Denver. So right now, reach out to us and let's find a time to get together. Uh, at Shilling Point, there's a bunch of people. I mean, I don't want to miss any of these, actually. Uh, Lauren, myself, James, and Kevin will have a panel on uh, Public Goods Coalition. But don't just see that. Uh, Zargam will be speaking um, about DAO standards and interoperability without, within DAO ecosystems. Uh, with Isaac and Joshua and Ivan. Uh, Jess is on a panel for regenerative crypto economics. Um, there's a, a lot of great people here. Of course, Griff already mentioned uh, his, his talk. Um, I think it's going to be, Shelling Point is going to be one of the highlights of East Denver. And then uh, later on the 17th at 2.40, uh, I will be giving a talk on <laughs> uh, Dow Check getting stewardship rights. Uh, I think it's going to be a great talk about all that we've learned about uh, what works and what doesn't work with stewardship and permissionless working structures. Um, I'd also like to share that there's a pretty powerful stewards council this week uh, where um, power has sort of been in the air. Uh, power dynamics on a geopolitical level, on a macro level, on a micro level, like micro conflicts and, and power struggles um, in uh, crypto and Web3 and crypto Twitter. There's been lots of uh, power struggles as well. Uh, within the TEC, there were some power dynamics that sort of surfaced. So the stewards got together with um, uh, other active community members and started talking about where power comes from, um, where in the TEC power is exerted, uh, what are ways that people and the TEC are empowered. It was a really great entire hour of conversation. Uh, I went through and highlighted some of what I thought was uh, more, more interesting and poignant points that were made. Uh, of course, you could hop into the TEC Stewards Council agenda or watch the talk, uh, the, the discussion group on YouTube. So the Stewards Working Group uh, proposal passed in the uh, TEC uh, and each of the statements have made, uh, each of the stewards have made a statement of commitment just uh, publicly saying that they are committed to continuing to steward at least for the next six months, uh, although it doesn't necessarily have to be the next six months. Uh, and this is sort of contingent on the compensation being distributed from the funding that the group received. Uh, and speaking of working groups, um, you know, we have a, we have conviction voting in action happening right now. And we spent so much time as the TEC community to uh, took an engineering community to come up with parameters for the commons upgrade. And we're seeing that uh, some of the proposals that have lots of support and lots of conviction are passing very quickly and others are taking more time. So we have the gravity uh, working group funding proposal which has 3.4% of the total support and it needs 15%. Um, uh, the parameters in Goldilocks was a growth of seven days. So every, day, every seven days, the conviction will double. Um, and uh, the same with Communitas funding as well, sort of slowly, slowly growing uh, as the tokens that are staked behind these proposals slowly gather conviction. So it's been really, um, you know, you can imagine what it's like and then when you experience it, it's something very cool and very different. Um, oh yeah, and then this is just to go back to the proposals. And if you want to see all of the parameters for Goldilocks, uh, this is a great post uh, to go back to on the TEC forum to see all of the parameters that were selected. And with that, uh, I will pass to Livia. Thank you, Tam. Um, yeah, super excited about Eat Denver. I'll also have a talk there about uh, cultural build. So why 
why culture is important and how to do culture. And, and also there's a governance presentation on uh, DSI that is an event by SCURF that is uh, decentralized science. So I'll be presenting the governance there. And, um, and there's also Peter is talking about the TE Academy and governance on shelling point. So stay tuned to that. I think his talk is gonna be at um, 420 on, um, on the shelling point day. And I also uh, share my screen. I also did a podcast with uh, Seth Frey and Eugene a month ago. And then uh, I just came out yesterday and we're talking about culture, uh, the importance of cultural practices, onboarding and cultural build a little bit about Ostrom too. And also uh, this uh, this week, uh, Lo Lorelei and Alp from Gitcoin uh, had this amazing event for DAO resolutionaries. So bringing the people that have been doing conflict mediation in, in the crypto space and linking us with projects that might need conflict facilitators. So there was a lot of people from many DAOs and a lot of people who have um, experience with uh, conflict resolution. Juanca was also there and it was really amazing to see um, the space growing and more people coming in to have this conversation. And also on February 24th, we're going to have the final presentations of the reward system research group. So it, you, you don't want to miss it really because the projects are uh, next level, what they're doing with uh, all the data they had from Ocean, Near Protocol, and TC, and um, the solutions they are proposing, the mechanisms to improve reward systems is really amazing. So um, add to your calendar and come join us on February 24th. And with that, I'll pass to Ivy. Thanks, Livia. Um, let me share my screen. All right, so a uh, sprint um, 32. I chose the sprint name um, teed up. So in golf, um, when you tee up a ball, you place it on a tee so that it is ready for you to hit it. So uh, the past sprint, our, uh, our team members have been um, preparing and getting ready for the huge, uh, huge uh, events. So, that are going to happen in that uh that are going to happen uh, in the next week, like the e and then uh the upcoming um AMA that I can will talk about later, and and as a team we've been helping each other to prepare for um for uh for our tasks or for um for uh for the future so everybody will be successful with um with uh with our uh tasks so that's what the sprint thing is about, so um so uh. In in com, so um last sprint uh we released the uh January newsletter with help from Amin AC and Tam and I we uh we prepared this new newsletter to give you a recap on what happened in uh, in the month of January. So um check your um mailbox to get um updates on what happened uh in in common stack uh in the month of January. And then the other thing that I want to share is um. We kicked off um, Commons Month. Uh, this uh, February, uh, we kicked off uh, the Commons Month campaign. So we started sharing um, Commons focused on projects and organizations on Twitter. So um, if you're, uh, yeah, you can just check our Twitter uh, page and you will see a lot of um, uh, some piece of content that, in, uh, that we shared that are uh, related to uh, Commons. And then the other thing, um, I also uh, started preparing and uh, working on the uh, post-production of, uh, we're preparing this um, Trusted Seed Spotlight that will release in the coming weeks. So I took down notes and um, uh, prepared the, um, the transcription so um, it will be easier for us to uh, uh, go through the post-production. And uh, the other thing that um, happened this uh, sprint, I uh, onboarded um, Usama to comms. So um, he joined us um, last week and um, he started helping me with re uh, review reviewing the tweets and 
yeah and you will meet him later in this call and then um and also um in the in the coming sprint also this sprint review call he'll be preparing uh the uh, description for for this uh so yeah i pass it to uh christopher thank you Let's see if I share the right screen. That was the right screen. So uh, I have been, or rather we have been uh, hard at work in the uh, TEC reward system upgrade these uh, uh, last two weeks. And um, I'm happy to say that we are, are, are very fast uh, approaching the, the, the time where we can do an actual the first real quant uh, of the old praise data from, from last summer. So what has been happening the, the last two weeks is that we have conducted uh, three uh, trial quantifications with the dummy data and um, uh, with, the, with real data. We had, a, had, had some, some database issues, but now the system seems to be running smoothly and we have a finished, uh, mostly finished data set that we can take here. Uh, and move into the next step of analysis and, and sort of do that the final testing of the, the latter steps of the process. Um, we have done a praise revision. So, or, or rather, let me say that Mitch has been doing an excellent work of, of pushing those uh, test quants and finish, finishing them. Uh, we have, uh, or rather, Nugget has been doing a great job of uh, uh, doing uh, praise revisions of all the old praise, basically. So there have been, has been reports of anomalies in, in the old praise data, and he has been basically looking through everything and, and identifying all the anomalies and, and concluding that basically uh, all praise have been registered correctly, even though it has looked weird sometimes in the the old spreadsheet etc so that is also a big check mark that means we have we have a good quality data that we can import into the new praise system uh, for the for the first uh, uh, quant uh, we have done a major refactor of the whole praise code base uh, nebs have been doing a great job there and uh, so uh, we uh, think that the the system will run more uh, smoothly going ahead and um, also Grail has been doing a lot of work of doing the, the, the production server setup so we can access the new praise system at a, a nice subdomain, uh, praise.tcommons.org, etc. Um, what's next? Yeah, the, the praise bot is mostly finished. Viva V has done a great job of finish, finishing that. So the new bot, it will look uh, super sleek and work uh, really well. Uh, next, uh, the trusted seed dashboard. I'm happy to say that the, the RAID uh, with, so the RAID is the, the work that RAID Guild is going to perform for us uh, to, to build the dashboard. It is officially started. And uh, also, uh, Rodri has been really hard at work of uh, finishing the designs. So now most of the, 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 the main dashboard is uh, finished uh, and it looks uh, really nice, I think. So just let, let's have a glimpse on, on, the, on his beautiful work. Uh, so this is what we can expect in a, in a rather short amount of time. We hope to be able to finish this. Uh, this will take the, our communication work and et cetera to the next level, giving the trusted seed a real uh, home on the internet uh, and a place where we also can access real, real useful tools um, to sort of get more out of being a member of the trusted seed. Um, so yeah, uh, I saw a, a successful week and a fun, fun two weeks. Uh, I think that is enough from me and I'll pass it to uh, who's next. That is Max. Thank you. Hey, hey, thanks. So my update would be that finally we have uh, finalize the objective and key result workshop, identifying three epics in our work, being attractive community, uh, legally sound and reputation you can trust. Those three groups are already being integrated into the main workflow without within our sprint planning. So you'll hear more updates soon. From the other updates, uh, we had some nice discussions about the whole ecosystem governance uh, and uh, we implemented some updates to the governance map identifying who's uh, responsible for what in our ecosystem. 
And also, uh, we're going to be launching a retention campaign soon. So I prepared to draft and to, in the next uh, like one and a half months, we'll be contacting our members regarding the upcoming membership renewal. And uh, also due to the team, uh, like some part, like part of the team being uh, out next week, uh, me and I will be preparing for the spring planning holding next spring together. So this is my uh, like update and passing to Maria. Thank you, Max. Um, well, it's nice to have Gina today at, <laughs> at the office and sharing screen with her. Uh, but yeah, for today, I have to announce that we have uh, the speaker for the next project showcase, and it is a uh, Pythagorean with Web3 for Life Guild. He will be joining us on uh, uh, February 26th. <laughs> and, um, uh, 23rd. 23rd. Um, and yeah, he will be sharing uh, their work and with this project. It's a brand new project and it, it's it's promising uh, the work they will be doing. But please join us uh, on the next project showcase to, to learn more about uh, their work. And also, uh, I participated on the Rigid Network Virtual Retreat Reflections. They already finished their uh, retreat, so praise them for the amazing work because they included, included the, the Common Stack uh, Region uh, Endowment Project. <laughs> and the, the, the things that working with that team is amazing. And I really appreciate them. And now I can call them my friends. <laughs> they are very nice and they are very welcoming. Uh, there are projects on, on carbon sequestration and the, the, the land stewards that they are doing a, a great work on, re, uh, on regenerative uh, economics. And also, uh, yeah, the next praise grant is on the works. I actually already reached out to some of the possible praise quanters. So, uh, if you want to hang out with us while, while uh, the praise the, on the next praise quant, uh, watch out for the dates. <laughs> Come to the party. We have a good DJ, it's Griff. <laughs> yeah. uh, and with that, I'll pass it to Dina. Yeah, hey everyone. <laughs> well, speaking about the side of the Trusted Seed members, stats, we had uh, 12 applications since the last sprint. Um, three more activations, so yeah! <laughs> we are now 340 active members. So, as always, the same invitation is you know, there for you to apply, activate, claim your SWAT, claim your POAP, and <laughs> be an amazing member of this amazing community. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> And with that, I pass it to you, Kenny. So go ahead, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Yin. Amazing. You heard Yin. So come on board and be part of this amazing community. Now, on Spring 30, one started with the distribution of the Spring Review. So you get to check that out on our YouTube channel. And if you haven't made it, go drop in and see our YouTube channel. There are lots of amazing video content that will keep you there for hours. You can, like... You just get in there and then you're moving from one content to the other. So please go check it out. In Spring 32, we started with highlighting projects, just like Ivy said, on DAOs in the Commons ecosystem. So from making a thread on the Crypto Commons Association, we invited you to play a gamified common simulation too, powered by Catcat. Many of you came on board. It was quite exciting to see a lot of persons you know, trying out their hands and sharing their results uh, with us. So, Thank you so much for engaging with every content we put out. And um, during the sprint, we also get to announce about the common events, Token Engineering Academy, that's coming up. So be on the lookout. Once that happens, we're also going to uh, keep you informed. Many of you are already registering. So yeah, tell someone, let them come on board. And we also distributed a piece uh, from David Boiler uh, titled Reventing Commons Governance in Modern Times. So there's a whole lot of highlighting commons um, activities and research and we're putting them out because it is the commons month. And talking about the commons month, uh, Griff's podcast highlights how his work focuses on building tools for non-organizations so they can grow their communities through DAOs and crypto. So 
go check it out. We, we, we distributed that podcast, but it's an evergreen content. You take a lot of inspiration out of it. You get a lot of, this is how it can be done and you can do it kind of, you know, energy. So let, let that be your uh, motivation. And many of you who've already gotten on that, thank you so much for sharing. Let's keep that content coming on. Um, during this month also, we get to learn a lot about the uh, Sensorica because it's Commons Month. We delved into Maria and I had a chat with TV and it was quite amazing to understand how they, uh, it works within the value open, open value network. So these contents were distributed and you engage with them. That's why we're very um, glad you did. And that's why we're just reminding you, if you've not seen it, go see it. And lastly, I am here by the time you're watching this, has happened. <laughs> so what can we say? It's amazing. Imagine a panel where you have all these amazing people who participated in building, designing an economy, all talking about commons of grade and sharing their thoughts. Oh my, I wish this is happening like earlier. So I could say, make sure you come around and watch it, but no worries. You could get to our YouTube channel and you're going to see because I normally will record and distribute. So the YouTube is your friend. Come to our channel and make sure you subscribe. You get notification each time we drop something new. So thank you so much. And I will pass it now to Osma. Yeah, thanks, Ekti. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, so for those who don't know, um, I am Osama based in Islamabad. Uh, so I'm a technical writer and have had experience as a scrum master of our development team as well. Uh, so I just joined as a technical writer and uh, will be helping in the management stuff as well. Uh, so regarding the work, I joined the team on the 9th of Feb um, as it's my first week. So I'm learning the overall system, research on the de uh, decentralized finance, uh, smart contracts, uh, li liquidity pools based uh, decentralized exchanges like, like Uniswap, Kyber, um, Balancer. Uh, so, uh, secondly, I just uh, joined my first CS uh, weekly Twitter session and glad to meet the team. Um, I have reviewed and proofread the tweets uh, with EV. And in addition, I helped uh, Griff in a small research of Univ3 farming and research on the harvest finance, uh, taking the screenshots of the pool and the APRs uh, that's being communicated with the harvest. And that's it. Uh, so, I'll pass on to uh, Tam. Tam. Yeah. Sorry, I actually, I can take it. I think that's everyone. Man, our team has grown. Uh, it's so nice to see everybody here. Uh, I'm so glad that this time, you know, we have such a global team. It's amazing that we can find an hour that works for everyone. It's so, I feel like this is uh, the largest sprint review call we've ever had. So major praise to everyone on this call for showing up. Uh, and, uh, and of course, you know, we always get to brag about all the work that we did, but it's really such a huge community. Uh, so as always, I'm going to do the praise wrap and we'll see how long it takes because there was a lot of people contributing to it uh, that aren't in this call. So I want to praise Zeptimus and Mitch for helping make the ABC proposal happen to reduce the tributes. I want to praise Frischel for all the accounting work that she does to get all those numbers for us. I want to praise Kevin Owaki and Samana Pop for organizing Shelling Point, John Pollard and Danny Osorio for organizing ETH Denver and Stephen Roji for organizing Dow Denver and all the other organizers of all the incredible events that are happening in Denver next next sprint. It's going to be an epic two weeks. Uh, praise Algene for supporting the organization of, of ETH Denver, helping us find uh, Airbnbs and all that stuff. Praise uh, praise all the proposers in conviction voting. This Wonka, Eduardo, Sam, Septimus, Tam, and all the other. I, I, I'm sure there's a few other proposal, proposers I'm missing, uh, but Thank you so much for uh, participating in conviction voting. Praise to Jess, Sargam, Lauren, and all the other Common Stack connected speakers for representing uh, ETH Denver and the Shelling Point. Uh, we're going to have a, quite the quite the representation there. Uh, praise to all of those people who joined on the discussion group in Power and Power Dynamics. Seriously, this was such a great Stewards Council. It deserves to be a podcast. It was so interesting. Uh, so praise to Edu, NT, Wonka, Mert, Nate. Ratio, Solsist, uh, Zap, Durgadas, Craig, and Nick. Uh, also praise Peter for taking T Academy and Governance Research to, uh, to East Denver. That's super awesome. Uh, praise Lorelai and Wonka for bringing conflict resolution to DAOs and, and hosting an awesome uh, panel. Uh, through Gitcoin. Praise Seth Frey and Eugene for the SCRF podcast on culture that Livia got to jump on. Definitely worth the listen. Praise YGG, Angela, Patty, Peter, Octopus, Mike, and everybody else who's doing all the great rewards, uh, governance rewards system work. Uh, and that 
and uh, I can't wait to see the, all the presentations on February 24th. Uh, praise Michelle Bowens for jumping into our spotlight and allowing himself to be interviewed. Uh, it was really fun. Praise Algene for helping take notes on the spotlight and also to Algene for contributing to the CS Twitter content planning and all the other things she does behind the scenes. Praise Heather for onboarding Usama to the common stack. Praise Rodri for the new banner of our newsletter and helping with all the graphical needs of, of comms. Uh, praise to Mitch for recruiting and onboarding so many people who signed up to try out the trial quant. Uh, amazing turnout, a lot of participants. Praise Vive IV for all the bot work. He's making so many bots. He's a bot machine. I can't wait to see his his uh, his uh, workshops with YGG on bringing Discord bots into the masses. Uh, praise Nebs and Grail for all the backend work. Praise MS and Nuggin for digging in and doing all the revisions and fixing all the little problems with uh, the praise data, uh, hero's work. Praise Rodri for the design work in the Trusted Seed dashboard. Praise Brandon Keating and, and Dan Ram for from Raid Guild for uh, actually jumping into the Trusted Seed implementation. Praise Pythagorean for sharing his project with the Trusted Seed. Praise everyone in the region network for hosting a great retreat and inviting us to, to represent. Praise Anna Marie for coordinating the Blockchain for Good Alliance kickoff. Uh, call for seasons, season zero. I love when we start with zero. Uh, praise Acid Laser for making an awesome po app for the Trusted Seed. Uh, praise Cami from The Defiant for hosting me on our podcast. Uh, praise uh, TB for sharing all the comments work that Sensorica has been up to. Praise YGG, Angela, and Gideon for agreeing to be on the panel that's happening today. Uh, you'll be able to see once you get this uh, recording out, uh, this awesome AMA on TE Commons. And praise Heather and Ahmad for finding Usama and bringing them into our world. Uh, that's so exciting. So great to see the team uh, be growing. And it's so great to uh, have you actually finish this call. Wow, uh, you must really love the common stack. Thank you so much for watching our review, sprint, our review call. Uh, and hopefully we'll see you in Denver.